Hello guys, and today I'm going to be explaining something about the Luster Star, Luster, uh, the replica of the uh, space shuttle. So, um, yeah, before uh, um, the update, which is, oh, that's open, <laughs> that's not, not supposed to be open, but um, before the uh, latest update that I was looking at, it was like the 1.0.5, I think it was, yeah, 1.0.5. So I thought I, I believe they're adding like new engines, new aerodynamics, and they said this was going to be working properly. Well, that's I want to look at it, what it what what you can do to get it flying before that because you know. Um, so I put a little payload in it. I don't know how it reacts with bigger payloads or even it was. I managed to get it into orbit. The problem when I was stage separating is these blew up the primary tank, so I added these separatrons. So that was great, but um. What I really, I don't really see any issue with this. I had a really good flight when I did fly this. I got into orbit. Had a minor issue because I was time accelerating. The joint broke right between here, I think. Yeah. And I ended up flying around and stuff. But uh, So let's try to launch this and see how it goes. Because I think it might do what it's supposed to do this time. I have flown this thing countless times. Um, and, I've, and I've sort of got it working. So... Let's hope it doesn't tip over immediately. Alright, so age separation confirmed. Lift off. So, what you want to do when you want to take it off is you don't want to go, you don't want to roll over, you don't want to do anything. What I did is I kept going at this pace until I got to th um, two kilometers up, and then I spun around until my back was sort of like this. So, if I was looking from the back, the back, this thing would be right here. So then I would roll over like the actual um, shuttle would because I would be needing to get and pull back. And that worked all the way to get to orbit. And then I staged separation and I managed to launch it into orbit. So this, it went pretty well. So right about here, we're at the time when the stage, when the boosters um, separated. And that's exactly what I waited for. Is, uh oh. Um. Ah. Uh, yeah, um, um, my fault. Oops. <laughs> minor issue minor issue bear with me here we got this <laughs> oh my god that was, that was not planned but at least you know it didn't destroy the spacecraft it's just we didn't have enough oomph to get up there so as I was saying also if you don't know how the, the, this system works I realize that these little minor engines here are is what um, it works so when you're in orbit, you can't use this because the oxidizer is gone. I know why they did that. Because they wanted these engines to fuel off that main engine and this engine to fuel off that. Nothing else. So this little engine, all it does is it draws from this tank here or end up here if you need if you need to run it as an emergency. But this one is that. But this one's used for main RCS to like move around to rotate to get your ship aligned when you're in space so you could try to get into orbit. So that's basically how it sort of how that they were intending on this. This idea was just normal boosters. I would really love to go with liquid, but I don't know. It seems it seems cool anyways. So yeah, that's how basically how this um, main system works. And there we go. So when it did, I don't know what happened. They sort of like fell down and blew up the tank. Have you ever had that happen when your things sort of nose dive into the side of the tanks and the front of them just rips straight through the the main tank or whatever, like your side tanks. Ah, I hate when that happens. So right about, I'm about the time I rotate or so. So we're gonna do a little rotation, and as as long as well as if you do it straight away, here's what will happen. You'll get way, 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 way too much drag, and you'll start to become um, aerodynamically unstable. That happened to me down there where I ended up t t um, turning over way, way too much, and that's how I died. So here we are. We're doing our little um, roll maneuver, and this and this works very well because you know that's having that little thing and start rolling over so you get that sideward velocity so we can try to get into orbit. Because, you know, there's no point to go straight up, so we need to get that little out outwards there. So this uh, this worked quite well. Trying to get this um the ship flying. I mean, we already burned through a whole tank of fuel so far. Oops, brakes not need to be on. Uh, going through this next tank and uh, all the all the normal things. 
So, I'm going to fast forward to orbit. Alright, we're now officially in pseudo orbit. We're almost here to our um, Apple apps. I know it's a little bit off because I didn't do that burn tactic where you bring close in. I didn't that burn where I burn outside high altitude. So we're down to about half a tank of fuel left. And if I and I don't want to hit the space bar like I accidentally did earlier, otherwise bad things will happen to ship. And um, so all we have to do next is just try to get this thing higher than that other thing other thing um and that's how we basically if we need to fly it i guess <laughs> what am i what am i talking about so let's try to fire up this engine again and get ourselves into orbit engines on all right we're almost there now we need to watch our burn nodes so we don't screw up let's bring that up here and engines on so we got to i'm just going to time accelerate because you know time acceleration is good as long as we don't run out of power, we're, we're, I'm fine with it. Alright, there we are. We're here. And run an official ending burn. Um, we have a minor um, malfunction. What I mean by that is we have a payload. Um, that is, See, we're getting the nav ball switching because of that. Because of that main payload is, is the cause of it. Which is starting to make me mad because, you know, you have to make spurts burns. Uh, otherwise, you'll flip around way too much. So let's just put ourselves on the prograde. Only gonna do a little bit of thrust. Playing too much elite, I think the W button is to accelerate. And we are now in orbit. So we got it flopped around. Ooh, that's actually very close. I did go to my orbit. So now we are officially in orbit with w tons of fuel to spare in this main state in this main sail. So we're gonna just rotate around so we could drop it. I don't know. I'm not going to drop it. We're going to release our payload first. Crap. Um, I think I see that I had an issue. Light's sticking out. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. So, so there's our probe. We got our little probe out. It's on dock. Um, oh, wait. That's a crossfeed decouple node. All right. There we go. Please don't blow up. All right, there we go. RCS engaged. I don't know. I don't remember my RCS hotkeys, so I have no idea what to do. Uh. Um. Don't I remember how to do this? Shit. Uh, help. Help. Yeah. There's, oh, I know why. That's why. There we go. All right, let's just get ourselves out. Are we stuck on something? We're probably stuck on something. No, we're stuck on something. Why? Why do this to me? Why do it to me now? All right, well, I know how to get this unstuck. There's a thing called uh, called engines. Uh. Um. Yeah, minor technical difficulties. Let's not worry about that. Well, it's that we have to. Why is that engine running? Oh, yeah, because that's an adjustment. Come on, you could do this probe. Wait, let me switch to it and turn off its RCS. All right. Let's switch. Come on, try to rock it free. Ah, crap. Well, there's a problem. Well, I guess I can't do anything about it. Well, we're going to have to get find some fix to it. Uh. Well, unfortunately, I have no fix to it yet. Well, that about... You get the point, okay? This system works. Um, I'm going to try to fix this, but... So you get the point on how this would work, right? So... 
Yeah, this minor technical difficulty is her dumb probe. Come on, probe. You're being annoying. Yeah, I'm sure I'm not going to be able to fix this, but you get the idea. So I'm going to do a part two to this, how to recover it. So I will see you next time. Hey, look, the probes work.